Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Ella, if you're new here, if not, then hello. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support on my last two videos. I'm really glad you guys are enjoying them. Today is going to be another psychology video. I know a lot of you guys enjoyed the last one. So today I'm going to be telling you why I decided to study psychology at university and A-level and the benefits with studying psychology. So I studied psychology at A-level and also at university. I kind of knew at my A-level straight away that I wanted to do psychology psychology as a degree just because of how interesting I found all of the studies and all the other benefits that came with it. So I have five different reasons as to why to study psychology and the benefits with it, whether you want to pursue it as a career or not. If you guys enjoyed this video and learned something then I'd love if you gave it a big thumbs up and subscribed. I'm quite near to 500 subscribers so it would mean a lot if you did click the subscribe button. That's pretty much everything for the introduction so let's get into the first benefit of studying psychology. Psychology is classified as a science that teaches people about behaviour and thinking and that is exactly what you learn when you study it. I was already really interested in people's behaviours and their thoughts and studying psychology at A level and university really widened my knowledge on this. For instance, when I was studying psychology at university I was able to learn why some people have different relationships due to their attachment styles, I was also able to learn why some people had the theory of mind and some didn't and so much more. My studies really really apply to everyday situations and the world around me which made it even more interesting because I was able to use my knowledge that I'd learnt through my studies and apply them to the real world. If learning about how and why people behave and think interests you then studying psychology is something to definitely consider. The second benefit of studying psychology is the mix of topics. There is pretty much a topic for everyone and everyone's interests. For instance, if you're really interested in sport, there is sports psychology. If you're interested in children, there's developmental psychology. If you're interested in crime, there's forensic psychology. There is so many topics that cover a wide range of things. Psychology is just one of those subjects that covers so many different things and has so many different topics within it so you just can't really get bored. What's really good at university is that some universities allow students to pick their modules which means that you can really cater your degree into your interests. By having a range of different topics in psychology it also allows students to learn things that they might not have thought would interest them usually. For instance I was already really interested in crime and forensic psychology but I didn't realise how much I would enjoy environmental psychology such as learning about personal space. By having such a range of topics psychology just really allows the individual to broaden their knowledge and become interested in so many different things. Linking to the amount of different topics there are, this also allows plenty of career options. Like I said earlier, when students are able to pick their own modules and cater their degree to their own interests, it really opens up a wide range of career paths. A lot of people have this pre-assumption that studying psychology will only lead to people becoming psychologists or therapists, but because of the different modules and the different topics that you learn, there are plenty of different career paths. For instance, studying psychology you can become a member of the police force, you can work in PR and marketing, you can become a researcher, there are plenty of different career paths that you can take when studying psychology. It's definitely useful for students who don't know what they want to do for work in the future. I know a lot of my friends were quite worried about what they were going to do after university, but after learning so many different modules they were able to find something perfect for them. When studying psychology, you also learn to conduct your own experiments and research, which was personally my favourite thing. Through this, you not only learn how to conduct experiments and conduct research, but you also learn to develop your critical thinking. For instance, every time you conduct a study, you have to ask yourself why you are doing it, and every decision you make, you always have to ask why. If you choose to do quantitative research, then you need to use your critical thinking skills and decide why you chose to use number data instead of qualitative data. Not only does this allow your research to be really impressive, but you can also bring this skill forward into your career path, even if you don't go into research. 
finally, doing psychology at a degree level, you have the ability to become BPS accredited. This means that the British Psychological Society awards you with a certificate at the end of your degree, saying that you have completed all of the core modules needed to complete the first steps to becoming a chartered psychologist. For anyone wanting to become a psychologist in the future, they're able to use their degree and continue forward with their training. I personally decided that I didn't want to do this as a career, but for anyone that does, it is essential. So those were my five reasons as to why studying psychology is so beneficial, both at A-level and at university. Hopefully through this video, you can see why studying psychology, you don't just have to become a psychologist. There are a variety of modules to learn and there are a variety of different career paths to take. I hope you guys enjoyed the five reasons and if you study psychology at university or at school let me know down below why you enjoy it and why you chose to study it. If you did enjoy this video then once again I'd love if you gave the video a thumbs up and also subscribed because once again I am so near 500 subscribers. That's all for today's video let me know down below any other videos you want to see and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!